Alright, Bath and Body Works, your candles are amazing. The smell is, but uh, I'm barely halfway. See, and this only goes. See, it doesn't. Like, no. I like this one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna like this one. See, if I just need to wanna. Very nice. It just. See, oh. A little bit of this, but okay. When this happens to me. Look at this. So yeah, just usually rotate the liquid to let it cool up the sides. Try to do this evenly and like film at the same time. This candle smells so amazing. It smells so pretty. Alright, that one blown out. So what I wanted to do is make sure like all the liquid was out. This candle is just trash. Alright, so now that I got those two down, I'm gonna light them, not light that one. And then hopefully these stay lit because I don't know why they're sparking like that. I've never seen that issue before. I really like this candle. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do, and I don't want to because usually instead of it, like, so this is where I coat it in and stuff, you know? So usually like the candle will stop right here. <laughs> and yeah I don't know I want to order this candle again that's how like addictive the smell is let's, let's show them it smells so good I like all over the house I hide this one right here because that one was my Halloween one but it was so heavy like it fell and then um, yeah, it broke. So there's that one. This one, I'm moving and stuff, so I wanted to change the plug back to like a regular one. But my regular one was just, it was not, yeah, it wasn't working. So yeah, I put the pretty one here. So honestly, to hide it, let's just do that. Well, basically. <laughs> it only looks more fucked up. So, what we're gonna do is I turn it on the stove. And it's cooking right well, it's warm up right now. And I'm just gonna put it um, basically right here because it gets pretty hot. Actually, I was gonna do a water, a double boil with it. But I was like, for what? I'm gonna just put the stove on and like make some cookies and wait for my candle to melt from the bottom. Oh. Then, meanwhile, hopefully it reaches because, um, to be honest, I already knew that was gonna work with the stove being on and like how hot it was because this one was on the stove yesterday like just resting and you know I was cooking um, something in the oven and it melted it all and I got so scared because I was like oh this is a pretty ass um, candle the top is really pretty I'll show you right now um, but let me explain how crazy I was feeling because I didn't want this candle to ruin like the other one did like look how beautiful this one is you know and it's like legit like the same way 
same height or same melt size, whatever. Yeah, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I got so nervous because it wasn't lit, so it was just melted from the bottom and then halfway up, and then this was still solid kind of on top, but one was like already curving, probably like that side, you know, how it's like already up on that side or whatever. So yeah, it was curving over and it was like melted or something, and the two of them were more solid. I was like, oh shit, I gotta take this off really carefully, and it's so beautiful, And but this... See, it's already warm. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna use these chopsticks. Um, carefully shift. And remove the wick. If you could see this, I'm gonna put it to the light that I just didn't wanna. There we go, baby. Okay. So, very careful, slide with it, and then I'm trying to grasp. Oops, I'm trying to show you, but I'm trying to grasp. See the little metal thing? That's what I'm like basically aiming for. Oh, this one I think. going to remove this from the stove. Is it hot? It's pretty warm. So I'm not going to grab it just yet. I'm going to grab it with some gloves and let it cool like this without those in there. Okay, so what I have here is I'm just having it cool by my front window and also you can see how warm it is. Um, I left it on the stove for about 45 minutes. Hi. So, I mean, the wick is pretty long still, you know? So I could get like little tea lights. Let me show you right now what I got like that. Okay, so you can recycle these because the wick is pretty long still, but because it was, I want to say like a default candle because I already showed you what the um, magic in the air candle was looking like, you know, at the same height. Like, look at that. It's literally the same as magic in the air. It's lit over there. I'm not going to bring that one back and forth. <laughs> So I got these at Ikea. They're probably like 50 to 99 cents. And there's four of these, but these are my uh, shower bath ones. So when I take a bubble bath, these are for tea lights in there. So that's why it just looks splashed. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not gonna reuse these because of the default. So I'm gonna probably take a trip to one of my local hobby stores, whether that be Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or Joanne Fabrics, even, um, the larger Walmart, they probably will have um, these wicks like this. Look at all that stuff on the bottom.
Okay, those are so cute. <laughs> Most of this stuff I'd love to DIY myself, but right now I'm looking for candle stuff. Ooh. I used to ask for these for Christmas. Where are they at? Ooh, and I seen that. Oh, my God, here's the shop kids. I seen that uh, graveyard girl. I just picked one up. I seen it in her Snapchat. I thought that was so cool. I really like this owl one. Yep. Yeah. And she picked up a skull. Oh, this one. I totally asked for that one. Bam. Back to my regular skin program. Oh, excuse me. Where's candle stuff? That side of the store. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it was just on that side. Okay, let's go back over there. Ah, yes. No candle stuff, but I saw amazing canvases. Oh, I love that. So sick. Ooh. Yeah, this looks so cool. I know, right? <laughs> Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm getting my own wick. Um, don't they have bagged wick stuff already? Oh, yes. Alright, what's up everyone? I'm back with a different setup. So right now I got my candle and it's solid. It's completely solid with no wick, remember? We took the wicks off. So these were in here, they're pretty shoddy. And this is what it looks like. I could feel the oils dripping off me. It's kind of weird. All right. I did purchase little jars. This is what I'm going to put my candle in. This one was a dollar fifty. This one was $2.29. They were both in the uh, glass jar aisle for 50% off. I've purchased tea light holders. And then I also purchased these. Super pliable. So they're pretty sturdy. This is what the bag is. I did this in my car. On the way home, got a red light. I was like, oh wait, let me actually test these out. And then, I'll probably use these. Okay, there were tabs to purchase. However, I already had a glue gun. I also have this that I'm saving. And this jar was the inspiration. This fruit jar. This is how much is left over usually. what all this cover is for. Okay, first one is there. Hold it.
All right, so now what we're gonna do is plug all our silver. Okay, all right. I'm gonna put the pot on and then we're gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on me. And then we can start. And you'll hear the fan going. And I have some water right here. <laughs> I'm going to do it on medium high now, 375. I'm going to wait for that to boil. 